ready to uncover the truth about safety in Dublin. If you're gearing up for an adventure in the Irish capital, we'll give you the full lowdown on how to stay safe and enjoy yourself. We love Dublin, and you will too, but it's wise to know what not to do or where not to venture to before you visit. Stick around as we share real news stories of crimes committed against tourists who hadn't got this type of information to hand when they visited. Dublin is more than just cobblestone streets and friendly faces. It's got stories to tell, some good, some not so good. While Dublin is mostly safe, there's a twist in the tale. Petty crimes, like sneaky pickpocketing and minor thefts, do happen, and we'll point out things to look out for. Brace yourself for a reality check from the folks at the US Department of State. They slap a medium threat label on Dublin. What's that mean? Well, it's not saying you're tiptoeing through a minefield, but it's a friendly reminder to keep your guard up. Yep. Even in this picture-perfect city, you've got to keep your street smarts in check. Unfortunately, there's been recent increase in news stories of times tourists have run into trouble in Dublin. In August 2023, three British tourists got more than they bargained for in the Temple Bar area. Late in the evening, they were attacked and reportedly robbed. Broken noses, cuts, grazes, sounds like a tough night out, right? The police are on the case. July 2023 saw an attack on a US tourist named Stephen Termini on Talbot Street. Serious head injuries were the unfortunate result. In response, the Irish government promised to beef up police presence in Dublin city centre. A group of teens were charged in connection to the attack. It's a déjà vu moment on Talbot Street. Another attack in the same area, involving a man in his 30s, left him with non-life-threatening injuries. Here's the lowdown on where to watch your step and where to let loose. Sheriff Street isn't exactly a stroll in the park. In 2022, there were a dozen reported assaults, and one even got real serious. And don't forget about the North Inner City, its crime rate in 2021 was 20% higher than the rest of the city. In particular, we don't recommend walking around in clothing which may incite the locals, such as an England football jersey, or a nice suit. Sadly, you might encounter drug addicts roaming the streets here too. So if you do, keep yourself to yourself, hop into a taxi and get out of Dodge towards a nicer area. Take a look at Howth. It's all about stunning views and quaint shops, with just two reported assaults in 2022. And don't miss out on Malahide, home to a historic castle and a golf course. In 2022, it only had one reported assault. This is where you can dress to impress and sit along the waterfront sipping a drink. Generally, keep your valuables in pockets with zips on them. You don't want to be flashing a gold Rolex you picked up at the airport as you're walking down a laneway through a group of lads drinking cans and smoking. They're likely going to be asking you questions about what it's worth and potentially targeting it to sell. Walking alone after dark, not the smartest move. But if you've got to, stick to the well-lit paths and dodge the dark spots. No shortcuts through laneways or beside blocks of flats. Outside these flats in the inner city like near Pier Street, you might come across locals dressed in tracksuits who observably have a drink or drugs problem, and have their eyes set on stealing the trainers off your feet or the phone from your hand. Unlike in other countries, tracksuits will be a telltale sign in theirs rougher areas, where the youths are not interested in keeping fit, but instead they signify a rough group. Don't walk around with your iPhone 14 with Google Maps in full display to these locals. Instead, keep a low profile get an Uber out of there. Feeling like things are heading south? Grab your phone and call the police straight away. There's a new Garda station on O'Connell Street too where you can run into if you're experiencing any trouble in the area. 
Unfortunately Dublin's main thoroughfare has gone downhill in recent years, with closed down shops, increased gang crime and open drug dealing. We do hope the increased police presence will drive these vermin out of the area. If the neighborhood is known for rowdy late night scenes, like Temple Bar, play it smart. Stick to the well lit spots and buddy up. I once had a homeless lad ask us for the lend of my phone. I declined and he proceeded to call our group names and threw his can of lager at us. Temple Bar is great fun, but the nature of the area is people will be drinking a lot, so things can soon turn sour once the clock strikes 12. Have a pint, but quickly move on to a nice local pub with friendly locals. Dublin is a cracking city to explore, but we recommend if you are going off the beaten track, do it during daylight. It is a very walkable city, but if you get chased during the night you could end up in the likes of Sheriff Street running away from a local gang. Cash, phones, passports, guard them like the gold. Invest in a money belt and sling your bag tight. Remember, Dublin's a city with personality. If these tips gave you a light bulb moment, hit that subscribe button for more travel enlightenment. Until next time, travel smart and stay curious.